Joining us now is Jason Teichman, CEO of Pond5, a platform providing licenses for content such as videos, photos, music, and even 3D models. So Jason, we're happy to have you. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, so talk to us here about how Pond5 receives the content and some of the most popular content within it. Sure. Uh, the way to think about Pond5 is it's a marketplace where literally any buyer from around the world can go to license videos, music, After Effects. Um, we have about 7.5 million videos, a million music tracks submitted from literally 60,000 contributors from around the world. We last counted, I think it's about 150 company, uh, countries are, uh, are actually uh, you know, part of the network. And um, it's a great platform for uh, creatives to monetize their content. Um, uh, typically when a creator is producing something, they have a ton of stuff that's sitting on the cutting room floor and we give them another alternative to monetize it. Mm -hmm. You launched over 10 years ago now right. at this point. What was the problem you were trying to solve then and has that changed at all over the years? Yeah, you know, initially when the company was started, it was a very modest goal. Uh, our founder wanted to create a website where he could uh, basically provide a platform for his uh, clips to be found. And he was a pretty smart guy and he realized there was strength in numbers. He invited his friends to join and alas, uh, a business was born. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you raised uh, $5,000 in seed funding, that was in 2008, and then $61 million in July of 2014. And so, who's coming to you? Who are, who are some of the biggest clients? Sure. And, and how do you plan to serve them, I guess, obviously now and then going forward? Yeah, we, uh, we serve a really diverse base of buyers. So, you know, on one end of the spectrum, we have classic TV production, film production, uh, motion pictures. On the other end of the spectrum, we have social media agencies, small businesses who need video, music, after effects for whatever production they're working on. The way we look at the world is we're going to build, and we have, the largest media marketplace there is. So, um, you know, our goal is to make sure that whatever clip you're looking for, we have it, no matter what it is you're trying to do. But with so much content being created every day, how are you managing the supply and the quality of that supply? Yeah. Uh, it's a great question. We invest fairly heavily in technology, so things like artificial intelligence, machine learning, have finally come of age where when we're getting uh, clips uploaded to our site, and we get about 10,000 clips uploaded to our site every single day, we have the technology in place where we could uh, immediately detect what's the nature of the clip, who's in it, what's there. And what's even more important is we can also detect are there any licensing issues we have to be careful about? Property rights, model releases, we can manage all that instantaneously. That was my second question to this, is because I'm sure there are some users who might have very similar images or similar videos, if it's shot outside or if it's shot at an event, some of that might come up. So tell me about how you manage that from a licensing perspective. How do you figure out who the original creator was? Yeah, that's, that's the beauty of our model. We make it really easy for um, buyers to license contact knowing with absolute certainty that the creator of the work is actually the one that they're licensing you from, that every model that's in there was actually released and providing the rights as well as any, mo any intellectual property. And does the technology go deeper into the metadata to figure out again from the timing and the creation of the file itself versus when it was actually maybe modified and then know exactly where the origins began? Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So it starts with the moment that an artist joins the platform. Uh, we look at uh, a lot of social signals, so this, this creator, um, have we ever seen him or her before? Mm -hmm. Does him or her have a portfolio online elsewhere? The other artists that we know link to them as well. It starts there and it gets fairly more complicated from there. We use a lot of machine learning to identify whether or not um, uh, there are certain signals like, that's really weird that that creator is masking their IP address, hmm, mm. why don't we go take a look? Yeah. What is the demand you're seeing now for 3D models, right? Images, videos, that's all you know, pretty common these days, but what about 3D? Yeah, you know, what we're seeing is uh, buyers are looking for more and more immersive content. And you know, the way we like to think about it is you know, look back at 4K. You know, a couple of years ago, we practically had no 4K models on our site. Now we have almost 2 million 4K uh, clips on our site. We're seeing that happen with other more advanced media formats, virtual reality, 3D models. Um, people want more immersive, interactive uh, video and we're providing it and it's growing dramatically. Mm -hmm. In terms of client partnerships, um, how do you try to enhance those? Obviously so much a part of the business, right? But over time, I mean, how do you try, and even now obviously, how do you try to enhance those relationships? Sure, the way we look at Pond5 overall is we want to make our artists successful. So we have this amazing marketplace where buyers can go to search for footage, rich media of any kind. Um, but we also know that it's not likely that every single person across the globe is going to actually go to Pond5 depending on where they are in the production cycle, where they are around the world, um, we may not be an ideal option. We hope we are, but we're not. And that's where we created something called the Global Partnership Program. And through the Global Partnership Program, if you're an artist, whenever you upload content to Pond5, not only will it appear on Pond5, but it'll appear on 
soon to be announced dozens of other resellers, partners, whatever. Um, when we announced a couple weeks ago, it was Adobe. So now when a uh, artist uploads a video or a music track, um, not only would the content appear on Pond5, it would also appear right within Adobe's nonlinear editing platform as well. Mm -hmm. You said an interesting intersection of the digital world and of the traditional world and some of your partners, these traditional networks like NBC and ABC. So are you, where are you seeing this content living after they license it from your platform? Are you seeing more of a go to some mobile? I mean, we're seeing a lot of these traditional networks try to create snows on Snapchat and Facebook. Yeah. So do you see that coming out of the traditional TV side and going more into like the mobile and the digital side? Yeah. It's fairly platform agnostic. The way we see it is every production out there, there is a shot that does not make sense for you to, to uh, shoot on your own. So uh, an example I use often, because I'm a New Yorker, so I'm really proud of it, is uh, Jay-Z's uh, song, Empire State of Mind. Yeah. Um, you know, they wanted a shot of the Empire State Building at night, shot from an aerial view. You can rent a helicopter with three cameras to shoot that. It will cost a lot of money. You go to Pond 5. You can search for Empire State Building at night. There's 500 aerial shots at night, and it's like $50. And that, that requirement, that issue of there's a shot that doesn't make sense for you to shoot, it doesn't matter if it's on TV, if it's on mobile, if it's on social media. In fact, on social media, those clips are 30 seconds long, 45 seconds long. It doesn't make sense for you to invest in a traditional you know, infrastructure and you know, three cameramen and whatever. To do that, you just go to Pond 5, and the odds are with seven and a half million clips, we have what you need. All right, Jason Teichman, CEO of Pond5, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.